Good morning, PBC Youth is Coach. I'm excited to be with you again this morning. Pray that all is well with you. Pray that you're still being safe and doing everything you can do um, to help us uh, fight through this pandemic. Um, last week, I told you I was going to be sharing some scriptures with you. On last week, we discussed Psalms 139, verse 14, which lets us know that we are wonderfully and fearfully created by God. We're not accidents. He made us on purpose, with a purpose. Um, so we, we went through that scripture last week. This week, I want to share with you from uh, another familiar scripture that I think you should know as a young person, as you get older and develop in life, there are certain scriptures that you should know, and this is one of them. Uh, this scripture this week is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. And that says, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he, which is God, shall direct your paths. So I want you to think about the scripture. I want you to look at the scripture and have an understanding of what it means. The first thing it says is very important. It says to trust, trust in the Lord. Now, when I have trust in something, it's a firm belief. It's a, a solid uh, belief in something that cannot be shaken. So it says to trust in the Lord. I want you to understand it's important that we trust in the Lord because it's very tempting to trust in other things like our talent, um, our gifts, uh, popularity, uh, money, materialistic things like clothes and shoes and cars and houses. Oftentimes we put our trust in them, but the verse tells us to put our trust in the Lord. And then after that, it says, and lean not on your own understanding. We can't do things the way we want to, because sometimes we want to do things the easy way. We want to do things the fast way. And let's just be honest, we do things the wrong way a lot of times. So we don't lean on our own understanding. We trust in the Lord and we build that trust in the Lord by reading his word, what we're doing. So you have to trust in the Lord and lean out in all, in, on your own understanding. And then it says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. That acknowledge means I'm giving him attention or I'm, I'm doing the things he wants me to do or I'm, I'm submitting to his way. So when I acknowledge him, that's how I acknowledge him by paying attention to him. When someone calls your name, you answer them. That's acknowledging them. That's not ignoring. The opposite of acknowledging is ignoring. So we don't want to ignore God. We want to acknowledge him in the things that we do. Um, it's easy. In our day-to-day -day things, we can acknowledge God. You can acknowledge God uh, just around the house. Uh, you can acknowledge God when you're in school, when we go back to school. You can acknowledge God while you're playing sports. Lord, um, you can pray before you take a test. You can pray before you uh, play in sports. You can pray before you do your dance recital. That's acknowledging God. And in return, the scripture says he would direct your paths. I don't know about you, but I won't want anybody else directing my path but God. So it's important that we understand that it's a, a relationship with God. We have to play our part. The scripture says if you acknowledge him, then he will direct your paths. So I want you to think about that scripture this week. Hopefully you're being blessed by this. Um, but Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. I want you to be blessed this week. I want you to continue to grow and to continue to uh, develop into the young uh, women and men that God has created you to be. Um, have a great week. Thank you.